We rented our bikes at Blazing Saddles, went to Pier 7, Pier 39, went to Lombard Street and to the Palace of Fine Arts. We crossed the Golden Gate and went for some pictures at Battery Spencer in Fort Baker. Then we went to Sausalito and took the ferry back to San Francisco. It's $8.50 uh, per hour. Every uh, bike needs like a security deposit and that's $100 per bike. And you see these rails right here? Lift your bike, put it on that hinge and then you have to connect this. If you work for some specific company in their discount list, you get a special rate of $18.50 per day instead of $8.50 per hour. That's super cheap. Don't forget to ask them, you might be lucky. Pier 39 was opened in October 4th, 1978. Used to be a dock for boats, now it's a shopping center and a popular tourist attraction. From the pier, one can see Angel Island, Alcatraz Island, the Golden Gate Bridge, and the Bay Bridge. There's a specific place where you can do an aqua massage. A two-story carousel and an aquarium with views of California sea lions are one of the most dominant features of Pier 39. Alcatraz again, right over there. Must have been really hard to break out of that prison. Now we're going to a very beautiful street. It's called Lombard Street. Do you see that cable cart? That's something really characteristic from uh, San Francisco. And this is one of the most uh, peculiar streets in San Francisco because it goes down at an angle of 30 degrees. It goes up and down, up and down, zigzag. Let's go. This is the famous cable cart. Hi. This side looks like Need for Speed Underground. Lombard Street is famous for being super steep and with eight hairpin turns. It's claimed to be the crookedest street in the world. It is a major tourist attraction, receiving around 2 million visitors per year and up to 17,000 per day on a busy summer weekend. Take us to the it's so bad guys this building right here is the palace of fine arts recommend coming here it's really nice taking some pictures <laughs> There was a wedding right there. I just saw it before. There's a couple, a white dress. Really, this is a perfect location for it, I guess. And the villas around are really beautiful and all different architecture. Like some of them are, are Victorian, some of them are like new style. Like. The Palace of Fine Arts was originally constructed for the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition in order to exhibit works of art. Other than art exhibitions, it's a popular attraction for tourists and locals and is a favorite location for weddings and photo shoots. The series Sense8 and Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo were shot along other films here.
Alfred Hitchcock chose this site for his film Vertigo. The scene portraits Madeleine committing suicide at the bottom of the bridge. With 1,500 deaths, the Golden Gate Bridge is the second most used bridge for suicides in the world. So how do you like that view? Getting here wasn't extremely easy. You can do it, but when you're nine bicycles, nine different people with different personalities and physiques, it's not that easy. Whoa. It's fantastic. This side over here to my left, that's the Pacific. And the other side is San Francisco and the little island of Alcatraz. The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge. It's one of the most internationally recognized symbols of San Francisco. Total length, 2,737 meters. Width, 27.4 meters. Height, 227.4 meters. Opened on the 27th of May, 1937. The Farmer's Travel Guide describes the Golden Gate Bridge as possibly the most beautiful, certainly the most photographed bridge in the world. Battery Spencer was a strategic defense outpost during First and Second World War. The area is a tourist attraction now. Dramatic shots of the city and the Golden Gate Bridge together can be unique. If you have time, go uphill and visit Marine Headlands Vista Point. That's the spot where Schwarzenegger and Terminator was filmed. It was an amazing day today, wasn't it, Sarah? It's amazing. So now we're in Sausalito, and from Sausalito, you can see San Francisco. It's amazing. And it smells like, like sea, like the sea smell. I love it. And to top it all off, good old beer. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hi guys. Hello. There's two options to get back to San Francisco. You can either go back by cab, it's quite expensive, but direct and easy. Or you can get a one-way ferry trip for $12 and enjoy the spectacular lights of San Francisco by night. So the conclusion? Definitely visit San Francisco. I love that city. Thumbs up for it. I hope you liked the video and I'll definitely see you on my next video. Bye!